Welcome back to the QuickBooks video series hosted by Proti Academy. In episode 13, we'll take a look at creating product and service items. Product and service items are used on sales invoices. These are basically your products or your services that you sell to customers. You need to create these items to keep track of your sales and especially if you are selling inventory to keep track of your inventory. To create a product and service item, you need to go to the gear icon and click under list product and services. You can also go to the sales tab on the left and click on product and services. That will bring the screen up. Let's take a look at the few items on the screen. If you click on more, you can manage your categories like your design or your fountains, or you can run a report. You can also import product and service items as we have shown in the previous video. Let's click on new and see what screen comes up. As you can see, you can add four product and service items, inventory, non-inventory, services, or bundle item. A bundle item is a combination of product and service items you've already created. Let's go to inventory and see what it brings up. This will bring the product and service inventory screen up. Let's give our inventory item a name. You'll also then be asked to add a SKU name. This is not required and can be left blank. You can also then put your product under a category as we've seen before with the design or fountains or landscaping. You'll then be required to enter a quantity on hand. The quantity on hand can be zero, or if you want to bring inventory in at the start date, you'll put your inventory here. Let's put 50 items and choose a start date of 1st of July. You can also add a reorder point, but this is not compulsory. You then need to choose your inventory account on the balance sheet that you want debited with the initial stock on hand and credited when you make a sale. You can put a description that will come up when this account is used. You also then need to put a sales price that will be used every time the item is selected on an invoice, as well as choose the sales account. You can leave the sales price blank, especially if a sales price is not consistent. You can also then choose the cost of goods account that you need to use. This only shows up if you choose an inventory item. If you choose a service or non-inventory item, you won't see the cost of goods account. You'll then choose the cost per unit and the account to use on your profit and loss. Again, you can leave the cost blank if the cost fluctuates. Once you save and close, you come back to the product and service item. We can now search for our item and see all the details. You can also filter this list by clicking the filter button and applying any filters that you might think necessary to find your product and service item. Let's click on the edit button quick. Once you edit, you can change any of the information you inputted. Two important things to notice is the quantity on hand button looks a little bit different once you've already loaded something. Let's click on the quantity link and see what screen it brings up. If we wish to change the quantity, we click on the quantity link and this will bring an inventory quantity adjustment form up. Yeah, you can change the quantity of the inventory on hand. If we put the 1st of July, and we choose the account we want the inventory written off to or written up to. You then put the product in that you're looking at and you put the new quantity you want. So let's change the quantity to 45. As you'll see, the changing quantity goes to minus 5. We can also add a memo to our inventory quantity adjustment. Like if we say that five plants fell off the track and therefore cannot be used and that is why we're writing down the inventory. If we save and close, we now come back to our screen and we can see that our quantity has gone from 50 to 45. Let's go back to the edit tab. There's another link we can click. 
And that's called starting value under the quantity of hat. If we decide to change the starting value, that will adjust the entry we initially made to bring the inventory into our QuickBooks. Over here, we can change the quantity that we initially brought in. We can also change the date we initially brought in, and also we can change the amount we brought it in at. The default account to make these change is opening balance equity. However, you might want to make that change in the same year. Therefore, choose the appropriate account. Here we can change the cost and that will change the initial start value as well. Let's save and close and go take a look at what these changes did. As we can see here, our cost as well as our quantity on hand has changed for the start value adjustment, as well as the quantity adjustment we applied. Let's quickly take a look at non-inventory items. As you can see, they have the same blocks, except as mentioned before, they don't have the cost of sales item. The same will be seen if we look at the service item. Let's take a look at a bundle item. As we can see here, this is looking for two product and services that we've already created. Let's choose one of our product and services. And then we choose a second one. This is if we do two services combined. We can create one product and SKU for these two services. As you can see, there's also a quantity column and you can have one quantity or two quantity to one quantity. Let's add a name for our bundle as well as a SKU name. If you're happy with your bundle, you can save and close. And this will help you save time going forward when you're creating invoices. As you won't have to apply both product and services, you can just apply the bundle. Now we can see the bundle coming up on our front page. Be very careful when choosing between inventory, non-inventory, services and bundles. If you have an inventory item and you choose non-inventory, it won't track your inventory and you cannot go back and choose it or change the item to an inventory item. You'll be stuck with a non-inventory item and have to start again. On the main page, we have the print function, the export to Excel, and the gear function where you can change what you look at on the main page. Thank you for watching the QuickBooks video series, episode 13, hosted by Protea Academy. Watch out for episode 14, inventory adjustments.